draw and how big we want it to draw. So for this game, let's draw it at the top left and the full sprite. So we don't need a rectangle object created above. We can just say a new rectangle while calling the draw method. And it has one of two. So we can have x, comma y, comma width, comma height. So x and y are for position. 0 comma 0 to identify the top left of the game window. Now the width and the height are the width and height of the image itself. Now how do we get that? We got that information when we loaded the image into our player sprite object. That also included our width and height information. So we can just say player sprite dot width comma player sprite dot height and parentheses comma color dot white and we'll worry about the coloring later but color dot white is will draw exactly what you see there it will draw it will not do any manipulations to the color it will draw exactly that. What you see here will go in the window. Okay. So let's press F5 and have a look. So it is drawn on the top left. Now some of you might think that it shouldn't be drawn like you see here. Some of you might think it should be offset to the left and top. So the top half and the left side of the ship are cut. Kind of like that for the left and I can't really cut off the top side but you get the idea but the reason it's not doing that is because the center of the sprite is currently set to the top left of the image you can change the center to anywhere you want you can set it to the bottom left and if you say zero zero it won't appear because your image will be above the sprites and the icon and if you set it to the center of the image it will cut off the left side and the top half of the image so that's basically it for this tutorial next tutorial will cover vectors